When I was 11, living in a small town in Texas, my best friend and I were bored, so I had an idea. Let's make a music video. I styled her in a prairie dress sewn by my grandma and grabbed a flashlight and a little point-and-shoot camera. As we set out for the abandoned ranch behind my backyard, I kept thinking of the song Wolves by Bon Iver. It was dusk, and at the time, I didn't really know how to adjust camera settings. So instead, I would shine the flashlight at a fence or on the ground and give her directions based off of how the song sounded to me. By the time we got back, we were tired, she had cactus spines in her leg, and the flashlight was flickering out. But we had something. We had the footage that would shape my future and ultimately build my passion for filmmaking. After my parents posted the video online, the creative director of Adolescent Content saw it, and I signed on with them and directed my first two commercials. It felt like my dream was becoming reality. I mean, not only could I be a director as a female, but also as a kid. When I first started thinking about directing, I didn't know how few female and kid directors were able to work professionally. I mean, the job of the director is literally to direct the cast, the crew, being the leader of the set. Although I loved what I was doing, I questioned whether I really belonged on set. As the cast and crew piled in, I felt like they were wondering, what's she doing here, or whose daughter is she? People just couldn't place me, an 11-year-old, in the adult world of directing. One time I told this woman I directed and she said, oh, like traffic? <laughs> this feeling of not belonging was hitting me from all sides. I mean, at the time I was going into middle school and wasn't sure where I belonged. Middle school's kind of where cliques come in. No more playdates, no more toys. Everyone's trying to figure out who they are and where they fit in. Even though I was excited about what I was doing, I wasn't sure if I could tell other kids because they'd think I was bragging, or teachers because they'd think I felt superior to them. It was really hard to navigate middle school, especially as an introvert. But when I'm on set, I'm engaged. It's like directing gives me more energy. Sadly, as a society, we have really defined expectations of what people should or shouldn't be doing at really any age. I've learned that what I've been feeling and experiencing is ageism. And I've heard it being talked about in a way that it's something that older adults face. But I think it affects us all. Because if what we can or can't do is determined by our age, then we're limiting ourselves and our society. Why can't someone who's 80 keep working if they love what they're doing, or someone who's 70 start a business? Which brings me back to, why can't an 11-year-old direct? Defying ageism and being able to direct has taught me so much and helped me grow in a lot of ways. First, it's taught me that I don't have to have the answers to everything. When I'm on set, someone will ask me about a certain type of camera lens to use or if we should use a steady cam for a certain shot. I used to freeze up and not know what to say because I thought I had to have the answers to every single question. But then I just started asking, well, what do you recommend? Surprisingly, people would share their opinions and even let me see the effect on camera. It led to more knowledge and way better decisions for the next time. In the four years since I've started directing, I've directed commercials and short films, but I still feel like there's a lot for me to learn, because in a way, I think there's always going to be more to learn. In school, I was never someone who would raise my hand or confidently ask a question, but in wanting to be the best director I can, it's in my best interest to find that more confident side of myself, that more curious side of myself that speaks up and asks in order to learn. Directing has also taught me not to settle when it comes to my passions. Imagine what the world would be like if all kids grew up learning not to settle when it comes to jobs and relationships and finding happiness overall. 
I've also learned that there's a place for everyone. I used to feel like the weird art kid that didn't play sports, but when I'm directing, when I'm on set, I'm a person with a purpose and a drive to be my best. When I wake up for that 7 a.m. alarm for school, I'm way less enthusiastic to get out of bed than for that 4 a.m. alarm for being on set. Can I see myself doing this for the rest of my life? I don't know, and I don't think it really matters, because today, what I do know is that I don't want to be known as a kid director, which I am, or a girl director, which I am, but a great director. Thank you. <laughs>